Welcome in this video in which I will give you many tips to play the head of Donna Lee, which is a very famous bebop tune that was composed by Miles Davis and that was usually played by Charlie Parker. All, this, all the tips I will give you in this video, you will be able to use them for any bebop tune. Let's start by playing the head at a, at a pretty slow tempo, rather slow tempo, 150 BPM. One, two, three, four, one. Two. Now let's see measure by measure how we can play this head and at the end of this video I will play it again but at, at 200 BPM. Let's start with the first notes. The, the tune, the head, starts on the third beat of the first measure, so it's one, two. Only with these this few notes there are quite a lot of things we can talk about. First, these three first notes are not play, played like this. It's a, it has to be a triplet. This is very important because the triplet is a rhythm that is much more common in bebop than the this one, which is an eighth note and two sixteenth notes. It's much more common in bebop to play a triplet, triplet. Another thing that's very important when you start this head is to play the first note very, I would say, very loud. The volume has to change when you play a bebop head. If you play it will easily sound boring. Whereas if you play you will play some notes pretty loud, you will play accents on these notes and some other notes very soft and the beginning of the head has to sound pretty loud because it's played like this so don't hesitate to play loud for these first notes then you probably noticed this slurs here and here. This is another thing that's extremely important. When you play bebop you have to play slurs starting from an off beat to a beat. One and two and three and four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and not one and two and three and four and one and two not like this one and two and three this is extremely important and it's a very common exercise amongst wind players because they have to to play these two notes they have to play ta tia 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 with a single breath and we try to do this with the guitar so we have to play slides and pull off So this is important to be sure that when you play slides and pull-offs it's placed well in the in the beat. It has to start on an off beat. Let's keep on on the rest of the head. Then
I personally chose to play this part of the head on the low strings, but you can choose some other fingerings. The fingerings that I show you are the ones I find the most easy for me at least. You can play these lines like this. But I find it too hard for my fingers, so I play like this. For this kind of melodies, it's pretty tricky to play this on the guitar and the fingerings are, are often quite difficult, so you have to find the right fingers and you will end up with mm, knots <laughs> with your fingers. That's normal. Bebop is not specially made for guitars. Then One again, a lot of hammer-on, starting on the off-beats. Once again. This line is pretty difficult to memorize. And then want to get once again. This is pretty difficult to play. You can play with other fingerings, for example, or even this note uh, has to be really loud, and you can even play it like this. You can play this rhythm da -da -da -da, or as a triplet. This line is really difficult to memorize. And this melody is difficult to play. You have to be able to play this note well because it's the sharp 11 of B flat that is played at this moment of the melody. And you, you have to be able to hear it well. So if it's too difficult for you, play it again. Strike the string again. And then... Once again, slowly. Here you have something that's difficult. You have to go right to this fret. This is how I like to play this head because I think that these fingerings are pretty easy, but they have some difficulties like this. This jump. Some notes, when you play the melody, some notes are not really important. For example, this one is not important. I didn't play it this time. Uh -huh. Once again. Okay, and then I will start again on the second part of this head. And 
then it changes. If you want to play this pretty easily, you have to start with a downstroke. And there, it's an A. The note is A and not A flat. It's a common mistake to play this head with an A flat. No. Listen carefully to the tune. It's an A. Once again. that are played by the, um, the piano and in the backing track that, that's also what I play and you have once again the first note is in the open string and we can play a slur a hammer on on these two notes and then again once again this last line is pretty difficult to memorize so Let's play it again. This last fingering is difficult. You can play like this or but it's also very difficult so I didn't find any very easy fingering for this kind of for this melody what I did here is that I played the whole head of Donnelly piece by piece for you to be able to see exactly my fingerings and all the slurs that I do and the variations you can do for this head but what's really important is to be able to to make it sound good and this means the tips that I gave at the beginning of the video are really important. Here are some other tips. When you know the tune and you are able to play it pretty fast, this tempo for example, you have to really to be able to, you have to focus on what bebop should sound like. Bebop shouldn't sound like there are many musicians that play this kind of stuff this way and it's boring it's just eight notes without feeling I would say without variations so you have to create variations with some notes that you will play staccato some other you will use um, slurs and this will create variations you have to play some accent to be able to make some notes I would say jump you know to make variations rhythmic variations that was that's what Charlie Parker did a lot and that's what make his playing sound like a bird more or less so this means that you have to be able to ghost some notes when you play them, you, you don't play them really loud, you play them really soft and that's what creates variation. And also, the last thing that's important is that you have to be able to play almost even. It's almost not swing because it's played pretty fast and so you don't have to string a lot the notes. If you play it won't sound good. It's not played like, like this, it's more 
The variation is not, and the swing is not in the the delay of the second, each second eighth note, but more in the variations of the phrasing. Something that's really interesting to do is to play the head at the same time as Charlie Parker does. So it's not very easy because it's pretty fast, but that's probably the best way you can learn bebop, to playing with the the musicians that created bebop and play at the same time and feel if something doesn't sound really good, doesn't sound as good as what they do. Now let's play this head at 200 BPM. I hope that you liked this video and all the tips that I gave in this video. Please hit the subscribe button. You can support me on Patreon and please don't hesitate to say what you think in the comments of this video or maybe to suggest me new topics for the videos to come.